um, let me join the other uh, panelists to congratulate the British Council on 75 years in Nigeria. Um, I think from the perspective of Professor Godwin, it's probably more a, a partnership than um, what the British Council has done. It's been benefiting from both sides. Um, as the anchor had mentioned, Professor Godwin and uh, Mrs. Godwin both came to Nigeria in 1954 um, and set up their own practice in 1955. John and Jill came to Nigeria and with the knowledge from the Architectural Association where they studied and got their certificates, their diplomas, they came to Nigeria and saw that there was so much opportunity in Nigeria, so, much, so many materials, looked at our climate and decided that their designs would be sensitive to our climate and find solutions to making buildings comfortable and sustainable. And so we are talking sustainability today. John and Jill have been doing sustainability since 1955 when they set up their practice. Um, they build buildings that last forever, that are comfortable. You can open your windows, they're well ventilated. They keep the sun out, the heat load, they reduce the heat load on air conditioning and all of that. And they have, that has always been what their life story has been in Nigeria. And then I guess they trained a lot of Nigerians in the process who set up firms. A lot of them are big firms today. And I guess the fields became a bit more competitive. And so they carved a niche for themselves again in the area of um, restoration of buildings they also, um, John, I do not know whether you're aware, John has crossed the Sahara Desert twice in his Land Rover. And I guess in those periods, he traveled through the country, um, um, saw the heritage sites, areas of interest, and sometime in the 90s, he was commissioned, I think it was by Shell, to do a historical map of the country. And that document is still um, very um, relevant today. He also uh, set up Legacy, a pet project, which I think has become quite um, a thing today. And he's done a few restorations, starting with, um, I think it was the Leventis Foundation. Jekyll House came as Legacy became more established and um, I think became registered with the CAC. But that then carved a niche and brought more briefs for restoration work. The most recent being the Holy Cross Cathedral, which he did the drawings and then I finished it off on his behalf because he's, um, he's relocated from Nigeria, but he's still very much a Nigerian. In recognition of his work, the um, Queen um, awarded him the Order of the British Empire. Um, Nigeria awarded him, I think, 2002, the Order of the Federal Republic. Um, Gillian Hopwood was awarded the MFR in 2012 in recognition of her work as well. And um, today, they have left us to carry on the good work that they are doing, um, working together with some students of Professor Godwin's from the University of Lagos who have um, bought into, and I think they've caught, in the, they've caught the bug of uh, legacy and what it stands for. Nigeria, from an architect's perspective, is still very young in the practice of architecture. So it was important that a lot of the training and the skills came from over there. However, Nigeria has a culture, Nigeria has a context, Nigeria has uh, what makes it Nigeria and sets it apart. And I think in training and coming here to work, you've got to be sensitive to your environment. 
You've got to understand the people, their lifestyles, and then be able to provide solutions to whatever problem you're solving, whether it's um, building a community center or building an office or in an, in an environment. You've got to be sensitive to the, to, to the people around. And I don't think that um, the British can bring that to us. We've got to let them know who we are and then take the knowledge and skills to apply to our people.